Smith, uh, Sweet Emotion. Now, this is the, the last song I teach in my book, too. So, um, we've already been doing some lessons. I'm not putting these in the right order all the time, but uh, um, we've already done some book three lessons, but this is the end of book two. And um, there's a lot to talk about in this. It's it's only about a half a page, it just takes up three lines of tablature, but there's a lot of repeat signs and stuff like that. But, um, so to talk about it, we'll talk about it in, in sections, like the first two measures is a groove, and it's really laid back, you know, he's a, muting the strings. point we haven't done much um, hammer-ons or pull-offs but we're doing a hammer-on at the end of the second measure um, you have those four single notes it's um, O, O, three, four. so you're hammering hammering that uh, fourth fret um, it's fairly easy you're doing um, a second position A chord and it's really just barred and really, we're uh, in the beginning. We're not really doing an A major. We're doing uh, pairs of strings, and you want to be very accurate about how many strings you hit. Like you don't want to hit three strings. Like, like sorry, that doesn't sound right. You know, he's just doing. fourth string so even though you're still barring the second string try not to hit it with the pick try to uh, be concise with your pick um, you're muting with the, the heel of the hand of the right hand um, and it's a little bit off beat uh, starts like three notes on the beat and if I just played one string like the first string it's one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, and four, and... Actually, that last and is not plucked, it's hammered with the left hand. So, um, you have a tie of the last eighth note of the first measure into the first eighth note of the second measure that... Uh, four and one and two. So it's important to be able to count that. One, two, three, four and one and two, three and four and. And so I'm going to play the actual notes. One, two, three, four and one and two, three and four and one, two, three, four and one and two, three and four and. When you do the fourth 
fourth beat of the first measure, it's two down strokes, and then it's up, down, up on the, on the single third string, down on the double stop chords. So um, that's pretty much the first section. One thing about the, the last four notes, that the picking, you're going down, up, down. So you're going down on the fourth string, up on the fifth string. If that messes you up, just practice an open string doing this. Do down, up, down. Fourth string, fifth string, fifth string. Down, up, down. Down, up, down. Swing the wrist a little bit. that too. Like. Okay, so again, those first two measures. And then when we get into the um, verse where the, um, um, where the vocals come in, it's um, not muted. You might want to pluck a little bit toward the bridge, not right at the bridge, but usually I'll now the way I've got it written is a tie where you would play it like but I put a little rest by relaxing the pressure and also planting the pick. With the left hand, we're doing a pull-off from the third fret to the open string, and then our third finger is coming in on an A sus. And again, with this section, you want to be really careful to play only the strings that are written in the tab there. Uh, don't add, don't play three strings when it's just two strings, and don't play two strings when it's all four strings. So you're hitting like a single note, two strings, two strings, and then the pull off, and then it's three strings, three strings, then four strings. And you can really hear that bass coming in. really dynamic. It's um, uh, a pretty precise guitar part, you know, so you want to be really careful. And um, now the rhythm here, if we think of eighth notes, um, think of uh, going back when I taught jumping jack flash. I called it uh, a three plus three plus two rhythm. There are eight eighth notes in a measure of four four, and um, if you think of like three What this is, instead of three plus three plus two, it's two plus three plus three. If you think it like if we we're doing the jumping jack flash chord and we did one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And you might try that just to warm up on that rhythm and count it the way I'm counting it. One, two, one, two. hitting every eighth note. Uh, that way you'll understand that rhythm. Um, now the way we're actually playing the chords though is that we're sustaining them. It's like one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then one, two, one, two, three, count is to count it in 4-4 four, four, like um, 
One, two, three, and four. that and four. One, two, three, and four. Just really give it a kick, you know, and that, and so we're not muting really, we're just playing more open. On this part, when you're doing that, you're still holding the bar of the A chord. So it's like, and I'm using second finger only, and then my as I play that last note, my third finger is rearing back and coming in on that second string. So you're basically holding a barred A chord, and you're doing second finger in the bass riff, and third finger on the sounds like horn parts like pop pop pa like that so it's and then this part's really pretty easy uh, actually anchoring your first finger on the second fret uh, helps you with that pull off I think and I'm kind of angling my hand a little bit you know, kind of toward my face, you know, kind of like that. Bring the third finger. And you got to be careful when you do this part, your third finger might want to stretch over here, but you got to rear it back so it's ready to attack that second string. Okay? So it, you're not you know, like hitting every beat is just like you're just hitting a few select counts in this rhythm, but it's very precise, you know. Repeat that three times. Then you got to shift your hand up to a third fret position. And I would try to get your hand more parallel, and you're doing a pull off here too. So it's you're hitting this, pulling off, and then um, the rhythm here is very offbeat, but in a different way. Um, it's sort of like one and two, three and four, and one and two and three and four, one and two. Four and one and two and three and four. You can just mute the strings or you can hit one open string, say the first string. One and two, three and four and one and two and three and four. So you have two eighth notes and a quarter. That's the one and two. And then you have eighth quarter eighth. Three and, sorry, three and four and. And then you have on the first part of the next measure, one and two and. So it's kind of like you're tying into beat four of the first measure and beat two of the second measure. Again, and then we end it with three and four, two eighth notes and a quarter. So you've got two eighth notes and a quarter, and then you have eighth quarter eighth twice, eighth quarter eighth, and then two eighths and a quarter. So if you break it down into two beat uh, patterns, you can see the rhythm a lot clearer. Often if it's not clear looking at the, the measure, looking at the rhythm, cut the measure in half. Think of the first two beats and then beats three and four on the other side. And so the first two beats are one and two. And you can do that a couple times if you want. One and two. One and two, one and two. That was more than a couple of times. And then you do um, three and four and. And the picking here is very important. I would go down, up, up. 
So we're doing two ups in a row. Down, up, up, three, and four, and down, up, up, down, up, up, and then down, up, up, down, up, down. So it's one and two. Now the guitar harmony part, which I've sort of arranged because I'm just one guitar trying to play the two guitar parts. Um, instead of doing first and third finger, you would think that's easier actually, but then it's kind of awkward to grab that as quickly as we need to. So if you do fingers two and four and slide those, you're sliding. Then the first finger is free to grab fret two of the fourth string there. And it's just. And then just hit two open strings and do the same picking. You go, but you're strumming two strings. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down. It's not down, up, down at the end. It's a little different rhythm. Down, 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 up, up, down, up, up, down, down. Or if I counted, one and two, three and four, and one and two, and three, four. One and two, sorry, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down. And then the, the last part, um, and I would hear this in the recording, Sometimes the way we played it in the first part, which was one, two, three, and sorry, one, two, three, four, and one, and two. But here it's like one, two, three, four, and sorry about that. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and one, and two. So it's not three, four, and one. It's three, four, and one, and two. So we're leaving out one of the uh, strikes of the chord. Three, four, and one, and two. One, two, three, four, and one, and two. Three, four, and one, two. Three, four, and one, and two. Compared to the first part, which was Again, if I were playing this in a band, I would um, probably play it a little of both ways, even in the beginning of the song. You know, you could go like... that helps. If you have any other questions, please uh, shoot them in the comments. Um, again, this is very short groove. I've seen other tablatures where there are other more elaborate guitar parts, but um, this is what I heard when I was figuring it out for a student one day many years ago, <laughs> uh, around when the song was actually out on an album and on the radio. But, um, you know, just figuring it out. And it is a little bit tricky, even though it's, you know, you're not really playing that many different notes. You know, it's uh, um, very smart rhythms and very offbeat, tricky offbeat rhythms. So uh, enjoy this. If you like the video, um, um, please press like <laughs> and subscribe to my channel and 
go visit my Facebook uh, page, John Hedger Guitar Studio. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one.